the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us went missing, and they each ended up like Maki. I see. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time, you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. What was your intention? I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. How despicable. I... I, I didn't. I... I was just... Uh... About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Anything at all? <laughs> they all heard a voice. A creepy voice. Right before each of them went missing. They said it was calling their name. Oh, man. Oh, senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Until now, there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour. But it's the voice. It draws them in. It's not a random phenomenon. This whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room, no matter what. If you can do that much, you should be okay. Don't worry, Yamagishi should be all right as well. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. T tonight We're going to rescue Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. That Okoda is just a prick, jeez. I hope I don't get that full of myself that I do that to my students. All set. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? And why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Then, ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? But that was ten days ago. That means... Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? Now that you mention it... This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. So, even though it's been ten days for us, perhaps only ten hours have passed for her. It's possible she's still alive. Wow, you think so? Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. We could barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? That's true. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna let her die then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? 
Honestly, I have reservations. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys don't want to go, then I'll go by myself. Senpai? All right. We're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. I agree. And we won't know until we try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. <laughs> In that case, I know just what to do. I wonder how Junpei-san knows how to do this. Anyway, um, we still have some more things to do before we do that, so... Ooh. Eight... Okay. So, chariot today. Right? Right. <laughs> All these are important, so you have to do what I do if you want to get this done properly, I guess. Suck it up. What about your knee? That kind of sucks. There's a hamstring thing, just oof. Hmm. What's wrong? I can't get a hold of the chairman. I guess we can handle it ourselves. There's one problem, though. 
Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Set to go? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. We don't have time to waste. Let's go. An explosive? For real? <laughs> nah. All I did was unlock a door. I, I have no idea where that came from, Mitsuda Senpai. That's just weird. See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier. Scrapian? No time for compliments. Let's go. What's the big deal, anyway? Trey Ben, what's that mean? That's not English, is it? Ah, Jumeza. Can we turn on the lights? Oh, you scared? Uh, no! Stupe. Stop calling me that! Quiet. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. Akihiko and I will check the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway. Got it? The faculty office, huh? And maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. It was a joke! I'd never do something like that. <laughs> Come on, Mitsuru. Lighten up a little. Fine. Let's head over to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us. All right, let's get this over with. Ah, Jim is not yet. Okay, let's see here. If you want to, it's kind of funny, but you can also go to the bathroom right now. I'm not going to because I don't really need to, so. Do you hear that? Th there's someone else here? security guard No, I'm not. I'm just a little nervous. That's all. Do you blame me? I mean, we did break into the school in the middle of the night. Wait a minute. That could have been one of the others. 